what is going on everybody and welcome back we are here on some ufc 4 continuing our career mode campaign we are going to go ahead and transition into the next fight we're fighting anderson marshall we are still in obviously we're not ranked we're obviously still in the dregs of the ufc but we had a decent decent training camp we didn't have any injuries so we're gonna go ahead and make it happen here with this fight i have a feeling i predicted we're gonna beat him down in round two and get a win so i'm gonna see what we can do all right coming up next it's a ufc middleweight division fight Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Well, we really don't see a lot of guys in MMA with boxing skills on this level. He certainly could have gone on to great things as a professional boxer, but he believes he has the best hands in the sport, and he will be looking to prove as much here tonight. And he has the background to prove that, right? He's not saying something that is not true. He does have the ability to say that. He can say he has the best hands in the game because he has shown it. And when you watch him box, when you watch a guy go into a fight with this young man and think, that it does not matter what his credentials are. He is going to stand with them and prove that he's better. They usually will go to sleep because no action is wasted. The jab starts it all. He fights behind this beautiful educated jab, jabbing high, jabbing low, and then the overhand right is unbelievable. It's his kill shot, he calls it, and he lands it all the time. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai fighter holding a professional record of 23 wins, 10 losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 184 pounds. Fighting out of New York, New York, the Sniper. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer holding a professional record of seven wins, no losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 175 pounds. Fighting out of New York, lights out! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? You ready? Oh, let's go. We are here. We had a decent training camp, but uh, we're going to see if we can get this eighth win. Like I said, I predicted. Woo! Woo! Wait a minute. Let's uh, back up a little bit. He is a kickboxer, so we have to be keep that in mind because this man is not playing. He's out here. That was a really good knee. He does got us on height, and uh, I believe he has us on weight as well. We're both from New York, but I'm a boxer, and he's a kickboxer. So we're, we're actually natural rivals. <laughs> we're going to see what we can do. Oh, let's hit him with the uppercut. Let's see what we can do. Oh, that was a nice combo. Nice, nice, nice. Let's get this job. Oh, my goodness. He hit us hard just now. Ooh, that kick. Let's see if we can... Ah, oh, the spinning back fist. I thought he would be open. He wasn't. Come on. Come on. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Oh, nice. Come on, we gotta work that jab. Work the jab. Work the jab. Just unable to quite find that range. As you can see, I've uh, closed out the ring from him. He can't move. He doesn't have good footwork at all. He doesn't have good footwork, and we're gonna keep doing that. 
we're gonna stay here because it's very hard for him to to get those kicks off when he can't move he can't think he can't see he can't he doesn't have that range to really get it off As you can see look at his legs he doesn't have any range we're not giving him nothing we're not we're not giving him nothing we're not going to the ground either we're gonna we're gonna this is our fight that really hurt oh what how did i miss oh Let's see. Kick him in the head. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Ooh, nice. 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 Let's go. Uppercut. Uppercut. Hit him with the uppercut. Let's go. Get up. Get up. We got bricks in our gloves. We got bricks in our gloves. We got bricks in our gloves. We have bricks in our gloves. He is out of here. Knock out. Knock out. No ground and pound. Knock out. He's going home. That's it. We predicted round two. No. No, we were wrong. Round one. Let's go. Bang. He got a lot of kicks in on us. He did, but it wasn't enough. And that's okay. His championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 38 seconds of the very first round. To play the winner by All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive... Oh, I even got a trophy. Oh, I'll take that. I will take that. Okay, so we got that fight in the bag, but we're only seven minutes in six minutes in somewhere around here on the recording depending on my edit so we're gonna go ahead and transition right over to another fight and see if we can jump in here after the fight dana white sent us a special new contract in reference to our fighter we are moving on we are trying to get ranked and we are gonna make it happen let's see the stipulations here and see what we can do i think i can do this I think I can win by knockout and TKO three times. So I'm going to pick this one, knockout machine, and see what we can do. My man has power and a lot of power. So we definitely have bricks in our gloves, and we definitely have the power to knock people out. But it's just, you know, obviously setting them up so that we can knock them out. But we're going to see what we can do. We're going to accept this and see where it takes us and transition into the next fight. Okay, this is going to be our next opponent martin costello he's 18 and 10 he's in the middleweight he's 29 he's six feet tall 185 pounds and he has a 72 inch reach as you can tell we're going to focus more during the uh, training camp because our starting fitness is low so we got to make moves we got 13 grand if we show up 13 grand if we win coming up next we get to this ufc middleweight division fight Well, this guy's got some hands on him, DC, and sometimes he takes issue when we call him a boxer because he is an MMA fighter and a well-rounded one at that. But it's hard not to lead the dance and lead the walk with the boxing skills that really are off the charts. Yeah, it's unbelievable. So he can be mad, but I would be happy to be called a boxer if I possessed that set of skills, if I had the ability to mix the target as well as he does. When he's most comfortable, when he's flowing, when the head is moving, when it's never on the center line, when he's landing body shots, when he's following that left body shot with that beautiful left hook, that's when he is most dangerous. It's a guy that for all that he can do in the octagon, at the end of the day, he was a boxer first and a fantastic boxer at that when he stepped into the UFC. And don't sell yourself short, WWE Jack. I'm trying, but I'm not this guy. Well, this is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive knees into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxers the high level yeah. from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. 
Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of eight wins, no losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 175 pounds. Fighting out of New York, lights out. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 18 wins, 10 losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Monterrey, Mexico, Hurricane. Ready. Ready first. I don't know what he did, but we're gonna, we're definitely, definitely gonna, gonna hit this dude. We had a good training camp going into this fight, so we're gonna see what we can do. I trained right up until the end, and I really didn't want to. You're supposed to give your guy a little bit of a break, but he just, I just couldn't do it. Oh, man. Oh, I don't, I don't know. He might not get this. He might not laugh. This dude is a kickboxer, so you already know what we're going to do. We're going to try to try to close it up on him, keep on him, really keep on him. See if we can get these uppercuts going. I don't think he's going to last. I don't. Oh, I might be wrong. He's hitting me kind of hard. Mm, let's go. Let's go. You didn't see that come. You thought I could only box. No. No, I know that's not the case. You gotta watch it with those knees. Oh, he missed. Got him, made him miss. Oh, he didn't. He didn't miss that one. <laughs> mm, kick him in the kick. Him. My kicks are getting really, really good. Woo! Look at this. Look. Ah, he's down. Get up, baby. Get up. All that dancing you was doing. Why you are you not dancing now? Let's let's close up here. Let's close this ring off. You're not getting that. Look look at this. Oh no. No, it's not over yet. Get up. It ain't over yet. It it ain't over yet. I don't want no. I want want a TKO. I want a knockout. I'ma clean you up. I'm I'ma clean you up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Let's see if it Ah, he be blocked it. He blocked it. All right, a little stamina management. Okay, okay, okay. Come here, come here, come here. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, he just said it's like Tom Brady. Wow. Whoa, did you see that? What, what kind of moves was that? Oh, he's out. Oh, yeah. That was the lightning uppercut. He is out. Out of here. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched him. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at three minutes, 49 seconds of the very first round. Playing the winner by no! Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep... He came out here. He got bullied. We had a good training camp, and I felt good going into it, so I knew what time it was. Um, I wanted it in the first round. We got it in the first round, so I'll take that. We're going to wrap it up here, guys. If you can, like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Leave me a wonderful comment down below. I appreciate you guys. You guys have a great day, and I will see you on the next one.